We can call this meeting to order. Determine that there's a quorum present. Uh, Commissioner Wardlaw, Commissioner Vasquez, Commissioner Edelton, Commissioner Flores, and myself. We have a quorum. Commissioner Flores, if you would please lead us in the... I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. He thinks it's a race. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to get it. If he'd only make motions that quick, we'd get out of here. <laughs> Approval of the minutes. Mm -hmm. I have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton. Second. Second. Second by Commissioner Wardlaw. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. We have no citizens comments. Didn't get any. Folks, we're going to take a short recess real quick. Uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. We're going to get a picture of the van, so stay drink and go to work, as Mr. Nettleton said. <laughs> Jane, we'll be back in about five minutes. Call this meeting back to order. Uh, we are on item number six. Consider and act upon resolution authorizing the submission of this 2019-2020 Texas UBG grant application request for $450,000 for parks and recreational facilities. Move. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner Lanelton, second by Commissioner Flores. Uh, this one, just so everybody will understand what we're doing. Is this one that's going to be like This is the Alcoa? one we're going to use to improve the Alcoa rebuild, or make, turn it into a Babe Ruth field, and then if there's money, do some other improvements <coughs> on the uh, existing fields. We have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 5-0 vote. Number seven, improvements. Our coal field improvements, including a $90,000 in-kind match from Valverde County. This will be uh, materials at Wool Hall for the back because we have to extend it 50 feet to match. So this will be our in-kind approach. Motion, Commissioner. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Five zero vote. Item eight: Discussion possible action to approve request number five for Texas CDBG seventy two one seven zero one three in the amount of eighty six thousand nine hundred and twenty five dollars and seventy four cents. Take. A motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second by Commissioner Flores. Uh, this one is for what? Cost. What area? Okay. Uh, this one involves the rehab of three um, three houses. Um, they're all in Valverde Park Estates. Um, there's also some public service activities, solid waste removal, and reversion to the county. Okay. The, we talked the other day about some some homes maybe in Comstock. Yes, sir. Have we reached out to those people? No, but I'm hoping to set up a date to secure the community center in uh, mid to early March. Um, I, I guess send you an email to confirm that the... Yeah, just, let, just let me know when you win and we'll, we'll make sure we get it. <coughs> and uh, we'll set up a community center and, and try to hold an application <coughs> workshop for folks. And what we'll do when we're ready is, is we'll post some bulletins around town prior. That way we can let people know. That'd be great. Good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have a motion by Commissioner Nelson, uh, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 5-0 Five vote. Discussion of possible action regarding changing, well, this is the one we're going to table, but it's, yeah. I'm sorry. We should have that. Uh, motion to table. I'll do that. Second. Motion by Owen, second by Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. 5-0 vote. Sorry about that, boys. Folks. <coughs> Uh, discussion possible <coughs> action to allow Sacred Heart Church the use of the courthouse grounds for their spring festival on April 28, 2019, mm -hmm. and, to allow, and to allow this for years 2020, 2021, and 2022. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Wardlaw, second by Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Discussion possible action regarding reimbursement to precinct two for the cost of purchase of a bucket truck. How much is the, the cost? Fourteen. Fourteen thousand. Motion to approve. A motion to approve and take out of the. Uh, Where does that come from? Take out of uh, contingency. contingency for now. Okay. Uh, there was a motion. Okay. You may go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, motion by Commissioner Flores. Second by Commissioner. Nettleton. Yeah. Second by Commissioner Nettleton. Fourteen thousand be taken out of contingency. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. 
Discussion possible action for the county to reimburse the Jones for hotel expenses. We went up this past uh, week, and we actually have a PO for two nights. When I got there, they, the number on the card, they wouldn't accept the, the card or the number, so I ended up paying it. Uh, Can you give us a better explanation than that? <laughs> <laughs> it it cost y'all four hundred some odd dollars. <laughs> I have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero vote. I'm not saying uh, Martin Wardlaw, County Commissioner, Precinct One. Discussion possible action. Discussion of possible action on the use of between Valverde County and ABO Youth NFL Flag Football Leagues for the use of the 60 acres from March 24, 2019 through June 10, 2019. A motion? Yeah. I'm a second. A motion by Commissioner Wardlaw, second by Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. 5-0 vote. Discussion of possible action on the lease agreement between Valverde County and the Border Youth Soccer League for the use of soccer fields at Alcoa Fields, March 18th, 2019 through June 8th, 2019. Well, I'm sorry. March 18th, 2019 through June 8th, 2019. I have a motion by Commissioner Wardlaw, second by Commissioner Nettleton. For the discussion, all those in favor? 5 0 vote. I'm going to send a quick text because I need my bill. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Juan Vasquez, County Commissioner, Precinct 2. Consider and act upon Texas EDBG 7216075, draw number 18, request $127,539 for construction cost MGB, Construction Company Inc., Inc. Application for payment number three, an authorized county judge and county auditor to sign request for payment form A203. Judge, this is uh, the tank out there at Paisano, and uh, the project's complete. We we're actually by there again yesterday, and uh, the tank's painted, everything's done, chain link fence is up. MGB's contract is for $183,515 for 26,000 gallon tank. Construction is complete. He's been paid thirty-seven thousand six hundred twenty-four dollars and fifty cents. So this item and the next item is to pay him in yes, full his contract. I have a motion. I have a motion by Commissioner Vasquez. Second. Second by Commissioner Flores. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Five Aye. zero vote. Consider an act upon Texas CDBG seventy-two one six zero seven five draw number nineteen. Requesting $18,351.50 for construction cost, MGB Construction Company, Inc. Application for, or, or, application for payment number four and authorized county judge and county auditor sign request for payment form. <coughs> motion? Yeah, this is the retainage. Second. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Vasquez, second by Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. <clears throat> Discussion of possible action to approve transfer from Precinct 2 in the amount of $2,500 from operating budget to travel and training budget. A motion. Yes, sir. I have a motion by Commissioner Vasquez, second by Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. Juan Vasquez, Commissioner Flores. Consider an act upon Close out documents for Texas CDBG 7216075 Vega Verde Road Waterline Project and Paisano Road Water Tank and Authorized County Judge to sign all required. Motion to approve uh, close out documents and have our judge sign all documents. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Flores, second by Commissioner Nettleton. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Info Nettleton, County Commissioner, Precinct 3. Consider an act upon equipment cost cal calculation sheets A802, identifying equipment Valverde County uh, processes to use, proposes, I'm sorry, I go to glasses, proposes to use during the Alcoa Field Expansion Project, Texas CDBG, grant and application as in kind matching funds, <coughs> authorized county judge to sign. Each form. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, forms for the use of this project. Second. 
have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flotis. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right, now 5 0 vote. Item number 20, discussion possible action appointing fairgrounds manager and setting salary. I'd like to make a motion that we appoint Edgar Pettis and we do a six month probation with a starting salary of 55000 at the end of six months. If uh, everything goes well, he will be moved to the base salary of 61662.47. Second. Uh, motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. Uh, any discussion? <coughs> Will the. Uh, sir. Sorry. The salary on this is coming 55. Out. This will be coming out of contingency. Yeah. The. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Will we bring back. In six months, bring it back yes. and move it up? Yes. Okay. We'll bring it back. We'll, the, the court will have a chance to see how things go for six months and then make a decision if they want to proceed. And then at that point, we would raise the salary. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero vote. I'm going to stand for now. Number 21, discussion of possible action to approve placing stop signs at the intersections of Paloma Drive, El Lago Camino, La Carnada Drive, El Lago Camino and Lago Vista Drive. El Lago Camino. Bunch of lagos. Yeah, we're putting, uh, we, we're having issues with uh, with people speeding down through uh, um, this area, and so what we're going to do is do some four-way stops to slow the traffic down on the main road. Um, I'll make a motion to approve. Second. I have um, discussion. In yeah. order to, first of all, that's a private subdivision. We have a motion uh, by oh, Commissioner Nelson, second by Commissioner Flores. We, uh, we have, have any discussion? No, you don't have any discussion. Um, I believe that's, those are private roads. No. Okay. They're maintained by the county. Okay, very good. Yeah. And it is my understanding that if they're not approved by the court, the stop signs are not legal stop signs. That is correct. And that was going to be my next question. I didn't, I didn't understand why. To it, it, it uh, stop signs and speed limit signs must be approved by commissioner's court, or they're not considered legal binding uh, stop signs or speed limit signs. Clarification. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a motion by Commissioner Middleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 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 By zero vote. Discussion possible action on paying overtime to road crew for emergencies and fires, even if they work as an emergency on a holiday or week with a holiday. We have an issue where I'll make a motion to approve. Um, second. Well, uh, second. We had an issue where we had to go out to a fire on a house fire. It was on a holiday. The guys were off on a holiday, and uh, we have an issue with the um, paying them the overtime because they didn't physically work over the 40 hours. But um, I believe they should be paid the same as we do other. <coughs> Is that a one situation? No, no, that would be that would that would cover those in those situations for those emergencies. So you would amend the personnel policy? Yes, we need to amend the personnel policy. And this is like the third time going at it. We're getting bits and pieces. Hopefully, this will take care of everything all at once. And if we have something else to come up, um, but hopefully, this will take care of it. We have a motion by Commissioner Nelson, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero <coughs> votes. Okay, I forgot to ask. Is Juanita okay with this? Okay. Yes. Juanita didn't have an issue with it. It okay. was an issue at the auditor's office. <laughs> as long as Juanita's okay. Yeah. No, she was good. And not only that, but we took a vote. I know. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to say, last week you gave me the last week was your turn. Hopefully next week of month. We'll go back and forth. Commissioner Flores, County Commissioner, Precinct 4, consider an act upon Texas CDBG 7216075, law number 20, requesting $27,567.75 for construction, engineering, administration costs, and authorized county judge and county auditor to sign request for payment form A203. Uh, motion to approve law number 20. Sorry. I have a motion by Commissioner Flores, second by Commissioner Nettleton. Uh, where, which one is this one? Thank you. Okay. If, uh, when we turn in the items from now on, if we could state where it's at, if you don't mind, Carl. That way it's... Uh, we have a motion, Commissioner Flores, 
second by Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. 5-0 vote. Can we do these as a consensus agenda? Well, if we'll you go. set up a consensus agenda, yes. Yeah. We'll just do all of these at one time? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think Judge Jones is going to set up a consensus agenda <laughs> for the next meeting. Evidently, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel confident that I'm going to do that. I have that feeling. <laughs> It's going to happen. Now we're going to have to go through all of it. Exactly. <laughs> do it all in one day. But I like me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. okay. <laughs> we can add number 24. <laughs> Consider an act upon <laughs> Texas CDBG 7216075, draw number 21, requesting $5,000 for Carl Esser and Company, invoice number 7. And final, for administration cost, an authorized county judge and county auditor to sign request for payment for Form A203. Motion to approve draw number 21. This is for Vega Valley. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Flores, second by Commissioner Nettleton. Any discussions? All those in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. 5 0 vote. Discussion of possible action. Representative for Thompson Properties to present construction bond for entry into the minutes for Barberty County. Thank you, Judge, Commissioners. Uh, I'm here today representing my client, Thompson Properties, also known as Lake Ridge Ranch LP. Uh, in, and this is what done last year, but I wanted to help go into the picture. Uh, all of the phases, 2, 3A, 3B, 3C, 3E, 5, and 6, all of the other uh, improvements have been completed, roads, water, uh, electricity. So what they have done is have provided one renewal bond for all of the uninstalled septic systems. And that bond comes to the amount of $783,000 and $74. And the obligee is the county judge of Alberta <coughs> County requesting that this be entered into the minutes and that then this original bond be returned to the judge's office. Did you look at it? Everything's in order? Yes. So we're good. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flotis. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. Thank you all. Thank you. Discussion of possible action regarding family violence center. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Judge Clerk. And bring you up to speed. Uh, some concrete work has been uh, complete. We've got stairs and ramps and landings on all the uh, all the doorways and so on. The um, gas pipeline has been complete, and we're getting the tank out there to be installed. Uh, hopefully by the end of the week, if not next week for sure. And then uh, kitchen cabinets. They're working on the countertops now. Should be complete by the end of the week. Then we can start moving forward with the uh, with the uh, appliances for for the uh, kitchen, and then some of the uh, laundry room appliances, and so on and so forth. Next on the on on the radar here would be the fence, the fencing, and the paving. Um, I've gotten I've sent out a scope of work for the fencing. I've gotten one response, and it's hovering right around. $20,000, roughly. Today's balance is $35,342 in, in that account to, to work on that facility. That's pretty much an update to where we're at. What's your and project has now? What is going to take to do all this? Total, total? Well, I've got to get with uh, the commissioner that's going to want to donate uh, and work on uh, the parking area, and I got, therefore we'll know what the asphalt and the hey, look at anyone. Here. I just went like this. Uh, whoever raises their hand first will take it. Uh, I, I don't have an estimate on the paving part, so I, it's very hard to. <coughs> the materials on that's probably going to be in the. Depending on if you just do a two course or you do an overlay, depending on what type of paving we're going to do, but you're going to be in the 40 plus thousand dollar range. I have a question. Um, does Mr. Muskies get more money for being a construction manager? I don't know. He's appointed by the judges, so they, they have to deal with that. <laughs> I was looking right at Judge Owen. Well, I know you were. But it's all right. We made eye contact. You've done a great job. Did, did you, uh, w when you said we, 
will probably need about forty thousand for you. I was <laughs> volunteering you. I was saying I just we wanted to know being the court will need to say <laughs> I wasn't listening for I, you. I have, I have the Laughlin project to do. I have <laughs> Well, that's where we're at, and we'll, we'll, help with we'll continue to push forward and, and just take, you know. Another playground equipment is going to be expensive. One bite at a time. Okay. When we run out of money, we'll come back and ask for some. Number 27, discussion and possible action regarding the submissions for the planning services RFP. We, uh, we advertised... Uh, for about three and a half weeks, and we we had one response, and that's from uh, Roger <coughs> S. Cerny, which is DBA Southwest Consulting Services, and I provided the uh, the RFP. The, the court has also uh, gone out and posted the position uh, to be full time. Also, I don't know if we've got any responses on that yet. So whatever the court wants to do. Is there a what the IP is what fifty dollars per hour or the forty five dollars per hour. The forty five is somewhere in the range of what that position is making now, plus the insurance and the benefits. <coughs> if you do the calculations, it's it's right Are we gonna need somebody to train when we buy when we come on board? I don't think so. To train and to help. Uh, I think we've got uh, right now two plants. That are mm -hmm. fixing to be fun. So. Yeah, I'll make a motion to. And if you want, can you just set aside some money? Yeah. And then, okay. okay. I'll make a motion to accept the uh, RF, what is it? RFP. RFPs from uh, Southwest Consulting Services um, and set aside an amount of. I would set aside four or five thousand dollars. Just, just, just set aside five thousand dollars to get started and uh, then authorize the judge to sign the employment contract for the forty five dollars. Forty five. Okay. There's an employment contract. Money to come out of contingency. Yes. <laughs> money to come out of contingency. <clears throat> well we have money left in uh, in that budget for uh, that department. There's still salary money left in there or not? We're fixing it. We can take it out of there for now. <laughs> well, don't get too excited. <laughs> 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 okay. Then we'll take it out of there. Yeah, I'll uh, oh. if we were going back and forth. Yes, sir. <coughs> May I address the court? Now? Yes, sir. Please. Uh, there, there is, there is, there is one thing that I would I would have to stipulate. I have a, a client, Thompson Properties, I have a moral obligation to complete. I've entered into agreement with them to uh, complete the process of planning for them on phase seven, which is their last phase. And the only way that I could accept this would be if I'm allowed to complete that that so you, wouldn't, you would be able to do both anyway. So I mean, sure. yeah. I said you wouldn't be able to do both anyway. No. Right. Yeah. I, so I, I, I have to. I have to. motion that he's done. That uh, I'll amend my motion that he is allowed to complete the one for Thompson Properties, but will not be presenting that for the court. And it will have to come to the bill. Thank you. Second uh, check. I have a motion by Commissioner Nelson, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Right. Aye. Right. Five zero vote. Item 28, discussion of possible action regarding the authorization to request RFPs for grant writing, grant administration services for proposed Texas CDBG 2019-2020, Colonia Construction Funding, Texas CDBG Disaster Relief Funding, and or FEMA funding due to the September-October 2018 extreme weather event and the point selection review committee parentheses, it says, must have at least one elected official on committee. I'd like to make one uh, amendment to that or an addition to that. Uh, just a, a typo. There's a Texas CDBG fast fund fire truck, ambulance, and service trucks that needs to be added to that as well. Please. Can you repeat that one more time? It would be the Texas CDBG fast funding, parenthesis, fire trucks, ambulance, and service trucks. I need a motion. Some, some 
by Commissioner Nelson, second by Commissioner Cordes. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All right. 5-0 vote. Huh? Yeah. Martin said yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. 29, discussion possible action regarding authorization to amend the total amount of $121,000 to $127,928.34 for the purchase of two patrol units for Sheriff's Office from Capital Outlay. Well, this price is complete. This is complete, yes. It's now, got right. everything in it. Uh, yes, sir. That includes, radio. that includes the cap uh, fleet uh, outfitting. Okay. Well, what is this for two? That's for two vehicles, yes. Sir. Can we set aside how many? <coughs> Originally, it's 121. And the budget has 121? Correct. So we need the difference? Correct. Mm. 1928 where do we have the difference? Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> I don't where it's been all that. Uh, <laughs> is there any capital outlay funds? That we do have some savings. I know there are some savings on our scanners, but nothing here at 7000 but we haven't done all the capital outlay. Well, you sure if have money, so could we yeah, take money. it out of the capital he outlay and adjust those as people come forward instead of trying to... You <laughs> don't have any money? Okay. Uh, instead of keep hitting contingency, we have a capital outlay fund. We took the other six thousand nine hundred and twenty-eight dollars thirty-four cents from that capital outlay fund. And then if we get short later, we'll just we'll just adjust. We'll just adjust. Nothing else. We leave money in contingency. So that would be all right with Matt. Okay. Okay. Uh, motion to approve and take the amount out of. Uh, out of capital outlay, and then we'll look at reimbursing if needed later on in the year. Um, yeah. Unless the sheriff can come up with some money out of the budget. Because I know he sends back a lot every year. So. <laughs> we have a motion? Second? Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, five zero vote. Discussion possible action regarding a request from County Fire Department to purchase laptop with accessories out of operating budget. How much is it? Thirteen, oh, one thousand three hundred ninety-five dollars and twenty-nine cents. Motion to approve. Okay. I have a motion by Commissioner Flores, second by Commissioner Nettleton. Any discussion? Uh, accessories out of operating. We got the not money covered. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor? Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. By zero vote. Item 31, discuss some possible action regarding authorization to provide an additional an additional $1,000 towards the purchase of veterans' van wrap. Motion to approve out of capital. That's where the van came from, right? No. It came out of contingency. Oh. Yeah. I guess out of contingency. Second. Need a second? Check in. Okay. <laughs> uh, motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. So mm -hmm. you're already standing. <laughs> you're gonna get up there and it's gonna be done. Item thirty two, presentation of twenty eighteen racial profile report. Joe Frank Martinez, County Sheriff. This is a racial profile report as uh, presented to the court for information as required by statute. Did we not get a copy? No. No. We didn't get a copy? No. Get a copy? No. no history. No. Motion to approve. Second. A motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. All right. Five zero vote. Where do these go after you? Those are submitted to the, to the state. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make sure you all get a copy of it. Thank you. 
If you can get it to the office and let me send them and make sure that it's good. Constable Byrd, Precinct 3, presentation of the 20, 2018 Racial Profile Report. Motion to approve. Second. And we got that. Yeah. Motion to approve by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. By zero vote. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Jesse James Trevino, discussion possible action requesting issuance of a credit card to Je Jesse James Trevino, Constable Precinct 1. Motion to approve. Need a second? Second. <clears throat> I have a motion by Commissioner Flores, second by Commissioner Ward. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right. right. Five zero vote. Jerry Russ, Fire Chief. Discussion of possible action on purchasing an extractor for cleaning all bunker gear and wildland gear. The cost of the extractor is four thousand four hundred eighty-five dollars, including shipping. We have purchased the bunker gear. Mm -hmm. We just didn't have anything to clean it away. He's going to take it out and cut it out there somewhere. Or what does the court want to do? I have a motion? I make a motion to approve and take out of take it out of capital and then we'll I, I don't know where we're at in capital, so you know where we're at. Yeah, we haven't had that much savings in capital. We still do have items that have been accounted for. So if you want to wait to see those items come to court. But we can adjust them, and then we could adjust the dollar amounts for certain items that are still in there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a motion to take it out of capital. Uh, I need a second. <laughs> second. <laughs> I have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner mm -hmm. Wardlaw. All those in favor? No. Uh, five zero vote. <laughs> Discussion on possible action to destroy outdated bunker gear. How are you going to destroy it? What do you do to destroy it? You just throw it in the dump? Or? No, you can't throw it in the dump. Okay. <clears throat> you either have to cut it up in pieces or take it and burn it somewhere. And I know a good place to burn it. Two good places. All right. Motions are approved. That ranch and that ranch. <laughs> hey. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> Motions are approved. Second. Seven motion by Commissioner Miller. As long as you can put the fire out after you start it, we're good. <laughs> Motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flotis. All those in favor? Five zero vote. Monthly Treasurer's Report. This is a good one? Yes. Good morning, Commissioners. This report will be action. 100% accurate. 100%. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Motion by Commissioner Nettleton. Second by Second. Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? 5-0 uh -huh. vote. Discussion possible action. Discussion possible actions regarding a resolution approving Valverde County Investment Policy and amend County Investment Committee to add <coughs> County Judge Lewis Jones Jr. to aforementioned committee. By the Public Funds Investment Act, we need to renew our investment policy annually. We usually do it in March. Um, this time we moved it up a little forward, only because we need to add uh, the County Judge to that. <laughs> well, what I'm trying to figure out is part of that investment policy has to do with other things that you can't <laughs> vote on. So we're trying to figure out how to fit all that in. Yeah, we're going to have to stay in. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Five zero vote. I'm going to sign this and I'm going to sign Juanita Barrera, County HR Director, discussion and approval of HR monthly report. Um, is the monthly report attached to it? Yes. Okay, it's yes. attached to it. Are you going to want it? Yeah, it needs to be in there. Oh, yeah, it needs to be in there. 
Did you, Janie, do we have a... I have a here. Okay. 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 <coughs> Thank you. We have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Did we have a second? I don't guess I did. Gus, did you second that? Yeah, I did. Uh, second by Commissioner Flores. <laughs> uh, all those in favor? Aye. Five zero vote. He's a gun. Number forty discussion and approval of job descriptions for office manager. I uh, can, can we wait for the next meeting? I really yes. have not taken the time to read through all this. Um, and take motion to more time. Motion to table. Motion to table. Uh, Commissioner Nettleton made a motion. Need a second. Second. Motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Zero vote. Not the County Auditor. No, no. <laughs> 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 one no one said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Item number 41, monthly County Auditor's Report. Good morning, Judge. Commissioner. Good morning. Any questions on the expense approval report tonight? How are we doing? Good. We are going to make the fourth quarter very interesting. No, no, no. Okay. Right. We're trying to get to zero. We're working on it. <laughs> well, if that's how we manage success, we are doing well. I do that. You know, I try to get to December 31st with a zero balance. There you go. That'll work. We have a motion. motion to approve. Motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second. Second. Commissioner <laughs> Flores, all those in favor? Right. Five zero vote. It's like getting slower and slower. I know. What's going on? Discussion of possible like action on transferring six thousand two hundred and eighty eight dollars and eighty one cents from contingency to sheriffs, doctors and medica and medications for payments of correction risk services invoice. Correct. That line item is usually budget for ninety five hundred dollars. We've already expended that and now all future CRS is why is it going up so much? Well, well, I mean, why is it bigger than what we budgeted? Just a bad year? Or? It sure. Well, we haven't had any bad ones yet. <laughs> it's just the amount of people that uh, seek taking care of. Medical so the numbers are up. Well, I mean, if we only budgeted nine and we were spending more than that, then. Mm -hmm. Apparently, either didn't budget enough or we're doing more yeah, than we used to do. Sheriff. That's what. You can budget whatever you need to budget, but is it how you numbers? judge that? Sure. Is just the numbers are up. We're having a lot. Is this one of the state or federal mandates? It is. When somebody has to go to the medical facility here, we're going to first come across. We incur some, even though they're state or federal prisoners, we still incur the cost. Well, not federal prisoners, is it just state? Oh, oh, one of those state unfunded mandates that they. <laughs> is it just state prisoners that are in care, custody, control? Which is why we need that, that revenue cap, so we don't have any state unfunded mandates. None. Yeah. And this one's going to cost us $6,200, more than the 95. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Federal motion? Do we have a choice? No. <laughs> Got to pay it. Can you send the bill to the state? Motion to approve? We can. I don't know how good it is. But... Right on there. Just send a bill right on there. Unfunded mandate. And... Okay. Have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton. You guys said me on. Second. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we have a second by Commissioner Moskowitz. Yeah. Commissioner. Uh, we have a motion by Commissioner Nettleton, second by Commissioner Moskowitz. All those in favor? Yeah. All right. Five zero vote. <laughs> he says I second, then he winks at me. <laughs> <laughs> Item 43, discuss some possible action on signing engagement letter with CAPRIS Actuarial Services to calculate newly implemented required governmental accounting standards, board statement number 75, in relation to post-employment <laughs> benefits other than pension in the amount of $5,950. Correct, Judge. Usually this is a new statement. It was GASB 45. This is a new statement. It's, a, it's about biannual. However, our prior orders, we're not going to require it. But we do have new orders this year, and they would like to see it done. This is something we couldn't have budgeted if we didn't know it had to be done. Correct. Mm -hmm. 
No, another unfunded mandate? Mm-hmm. No, this is for our auditors. Motion to approve. What do you mean when we get another one? They're requiring us to do? Mm-hmm. The auditor. Mm-hmm. It's not a federal or state requirement. Well, because it's governmental accounting standard for statement number seven. Okay, okay. if you want to say something about it. Sure. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> another one. I have a motion by Commissioner Flores. I need a second. Second. Second, Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Yeah. Five zero vote. <coughs> Anna Markowski Smith, County Attorney, <coughs> item forty four, executive session items that may result in action and open session thereafter. Item forty five, Anna Markowski Smith, County Attorney, requesting executive session pursuant to Texas Government Code. Code 551.071, parenthesis 1, consultation regarding contemplated litigation and possible action in open session thereafter. Item 46, Anna Makoski Smith, County Attorney requesting executive session pursuant to Texas Government Code 551.071, parenthesis 2, consultation which is governed by the attorney client privilege and possible action in open session thereafter. Item 47, Anna Markowski Smith, County Attorney, requesting executive session pursuant to Texas Government Code 551.072, consul- consultation to deliberate the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property. And deli- <coughs> if deliberation in an open meeting would have a detrimental effect on the position of the government body and negotiations with a third person. We will now go into executive session. Judge, we'll take a little break before that, we go. That's another item that we can shrink if yeah. you want to. Right. Change the Court will now come to order. It is 10.35. Wow, you like that, right? I know. Jeez, <laughs> you know, you can do that one. Relax. Relax. Item 49, approved subdivision plats. Do we have something? No, sir. No? Approved certifications of compliance. No, sir. Approved monthly reports from elected officials. Mm-hmm. Uh, Commissioner Wardlaw, Commissioner Nettleton, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. I'm sorry. Commissioner Wardlaw made the motion. Commissioner Nettleton seconded. Uh, approved bills for payment. Move. Did we, with the sheriff, with postage, what do we do with that? Did he do a PO? <laughs> what came to my mind, I'm not going to say a lot. <laughs> Uh, we had talked about postage, and then they were going to write a PO. Expand it, so there's no doesn't going to be added to this. That's taken care of. One of the things while we're up here on, on bills, um, the postage. Did we go over everybody that has a postage meter to tell them what we've done, what y'all have done with the sheriff to advise them on how to? That way, we're not incurring forty dollar bills. In other words, no. break up. Make, yeah. We talked to anybody that's had an issue. Okay. The issue? Yeah. The issue is they're running out too soon. When we're running out of postage, uh, there was an issue uh, this past week, and what they did is there's money in there, but we were just writing a PO for a little amount instead of writing for a bigger amount. That way, you just don't you don't have the you don't have the problem. Okay. Uh, approving the bills, we have a motion. Second. We have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? All right. Five zero vote. Any commissioners' comments? None. County judges' comments? None. Uh, number 55, motion to adjourn. Or adjourn. We're done.